the spine. Yes, we are hominids, upright walkers. We have all these muscles in our spine that support our spine from sagging. That's what make us the species that we are. But the spine is also connected. The vertebra of the spine are connected with ligaments. Ligaments are plastic fibers, plastic-like fibers in our body that are used to hold two bones together, especially your vertebral column. There are so many vertebrae, so many bones in the vertebral column, in the spinal column. And the ligaments hold them together. So the question becomes, when we're practicing our yoga poses and our asanas, our poses and our vinyasas, our movements, how do we protect our spine? Or do we need to protect our spine? Everyone's spine is different. Just like everyone's hip bones are different. Everyone's shoulder connection bones are different. All the structures of each individual are completely different. Some people are, have a very flexible spine. Their, their ligaments are a little bit looser. And some people have tighter ligaments. But the thing about ligaments is, since they're plastic-like, once they stretch, they never come back together. They remain stretched. And the function of the ligaments in the spine is to hold the vertebra in the correct position so they don't wobble around and rub against each other and create chronic pain or even acute pain. So, what about back bends? I personally don't use back bends. My spine isn't designed for back bends. It is designed for spinal extension. So a back bend might look like this, and a spinal extension might look like this. I'm lengthening my spine. I'm not actually pulling the vertebra apart, but I'm lengthening my spine. What does a spinal extension look like? Well, here's a spinal extension. I sweep up, I lengthen the crown of my head up, and I sort of lean back just a little bit. That's as far as I can go. That's the extent of my spinal extension. I can feel like I'm lengthening. I'm sort of pulling my, 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 my vertebral column slightly apart, but not too much. If I lean way, way back, I'll feel the edges of my vertebra rubbing against each other. And I don't feel real comfortable with that, so I don't do it. Another spinal extension, I'll go down to the mat and show you what that looks like, is cobra and up dog. So, if I'm flat on the mat in a prone position, I plant my hands on the mat and push up with my hands as far as I can, lengthen the crown of my head forward, and stretch from the crown of my head to the tips of my toes I'm lengthening my spine, but it's not a back bend. If I release the tension in my abdominal muscles, then I will actually bend my spine right here. And for me, that's not comfortable. I feel like I'm crunching my vertebra against each other. As a matter of fact, when I do cobra, which is a form of cobra I just demonstrated to you, I like to lift my hands off the mat and lengthen from the crown of my head to the tips of my toes. And this way, if I look straight down, I prevent myself from crunching the little, verte the little vertebra in my cervical spine and crunching the vertebra in my lumbar spine and lower thoracic spine. Hands off the mat, long spine, look down, tops of feet flat on the mat, that's cobra. Up dog is similar except hands are planted, toes are tucked, thighs off the ground, elbows extended to a micro bend. Sorry, toes aren't tucked. Long uh, tops of feet, long spine. Notice I'm lengthening my spine. I'm stretching from the crown of my head all the way to the tips of my toes. It's a spinal lengthener. I'm not allowing my hips to sink too far because I'm not comfortable creating a back bend 
I'm more comfortable with a back extension. Do what's comfortable for you. Always protect your spine.